Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here. Let's talk some mountain weather. The first stop is going to be up in the northeast. This is Killington. They reported about seven inches, and I think it was forecasting six, seven, eight inches from that uh, that windy northeastern storm system. Clear. It is dark there right now, but it's still blowing. You can see some snow coming across the lens up there in uh, Killington. Back here in Colorado, this is the view up at the Steamboat. We've had several inches of new snow over the last uh, 48 hours. You can see some of the cams here. And just a beautiful view there from Thunderhead at the top. A lot of cloud cover. We've got this dirty flow coming out of the north, northwest out of Wyoming. And at times we'll get some snow showers that will shroud the high peaks of Colorado. Um, but let me see what else I've got. Yeah, here's Loveland Ski Area up on the Continental Divide. You can see those clouds. Hey, this is at about 12,700 feet, this, uh, this camera. Again, you've got that dirty flow coming in out of Wyoming, um, throwing cloud cover and some moisture over the high peaks at times, shrouding the high peaks in some snow showers. The wind is really let up. The temperatures are much warmer than what we saw over the weekend. It was brutal over the weekend, but it's a little bit warmer right now in uh, Colorado. Let me show you my bullet points here for... Um, the next several days. So we're entering a quiet period now for most of the West. There is an exception. Um, on 12, 13, 12, 14, there's a low pressure that develops in southern Colorado, northern New Mexico, uh, which will dump uh, moderate to heavy accumulations. I'll show you what that looks like coming up in a few. But outside of that, it is a much quieter eight day period ahead. California is dry until 12, 18. Then we'll start to see a trough influence California and then maybe eventually that may move into the interior, but I'm telling you right now, that is gonna take a long time. That's the way it looks right now with this quiet period. All right, let me take you back. I wanna show you what the uh, the water vapor satellite imagery looks like right now. So let me just uh, give you an idea of what the pattern is. So the jet's coming off the Pacific like this. It's pretty flat and it's fast and it's moving up over the top. Big trough over the east with that storm system. So you've got these little areas of low pressure. You can see there's one right there, and there's some other energy back here. But everything's moving so fast, and it's just it's just being carried in in little streaks. So we're just going to see this dirty flow come out of uh, the Pacific Northwest, very minor, with just little areas of snow kind of dropping down from Wyoming through the central and northern mountains of Colorado. But what will happen on 12, 13, and 12, 14 is on the tail end of one of these is a low pressure is going to develop right here. That's the way it looks right now. Here's the forecast radar and satellite. So that's the current state of affairs. You can see the little streaks of snow. Here we are tomorrow at six o'clock in the morning. There's in the afternoon and look at that. So the transition takes place. There's our low pressure. Um, during the midday and afternoon, low starts to develop southern Colorado, northern New Mexico. So the southern mountains of Colorado and northern New Mexico will get the most accumulation out of this setup. Uh, so this is Thursday in the morning. You can see some of that snow might make it back to Denver, but we're right on the periphery. And if anything, that kind of almost looks like a downsloping wind into uh, Denver. You're much better off south of Denver. Um, the Springs, Pueblo, love you to pass Lamar to see any type of precip out of this. All right, moving into the future, by Thursday afternoon, low starts to break, and it moves up, and by Friday, it's gone. And this is, again, part of that quiet period across the west. There just isn't a whole lot going on here. Some cloud cover gets moved in, and that's about it. And that runs us through the end of the, the 16th. Like I said, California really stays dry until about the 18th, and then it's even later than that for the interior uh, Rockies, much later, in fact. All right, here are the, uh, here's the jet stream setup. Here's that uh, trough in the southern branch that will support that uh, area of low pressure over southern Colorado and northern New Mexico. But look at the polar jet. It is amplified way up into Canada, which means we are just flush with warm air across the west. Very high snow levels. All right, here's jet uh, set number two. This is 1220 late in the day. Again, the polar jet's locked off into Canada, which means it's still warm across the southern tier. Um, across the Rockies, and we might be seeing that big trough. You can see it spinning there off California, slowly getting closer, slowly making its way towards California by 12, 18, 19, and 20. All right, as far as accumulation goes, again, not much except for southern Colorado, northern New Mexico, where we could see um, 6 to 12 inches from Angel Fire to Ski Santa Fe, Taos, Cuchara, and Wolf Creek. Those areas would get the most. Period number two is 1216 through 1220, and there's really not much of anything except for BC and parts of the Banff area. Um, here is the northeast, so this is 1211 through uh, 1220, and whatever you see here is really just leftover snow for today, 1211. Beyond this, 
I don't have much of anything for the Northeast, um, unfortunately. So the pattern is, it just unfortunately just dries out. Again, there's 1216, 1220, and here is that period just before that, 1211 through 1215. Again, it's that southern low through uh, Colorado and northern New Mexico that is really the only ball game in town through about 1218, 1220, unfortunately. But enjoy it while you've got it, I guess. Uh, make the most of it. Hit southern Colorado, northern New Mexico for the best new snow. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in here. Always appreciate it. Take care.